my girl, what name comes to mind? Do you have a friend that comes to mind when I say, that's my girl? <laughs> I love that phrase. We know friendships are complicated, sometimes as complicated as being married. But, <laughs> but what makes a good girlfriend? There's this meme I saw recently and it said, if you've been friends longer than seven years, you will be friends for life. I love that. So it got me to thinking, so 2019, these are actually pictures from my baby shower. I went through these pictures, almost every woman in these pictures, I've known for seven years or more. These are all my girls. Uh, that's been my best friend. Sonia Franklin's been my best friend since we were seven years old. We're now 54. So that's friendship, right? And there are so many things that we're gonna talk about today. Do people really wanna see women get along? And that is the question. And it made me think, for instance, when you see a moment of solidarity, remember this moment from the Olympics, Simone Biles and Jordan Childs celebrated Brazilian gymnast Rebecca Andrade for winning the gold. I saw joy. Haters saw a problem with women celebrating. I didn't understand it. So today we're talking about how to be a good girlfriend, including the complicated parts. I don't know if you've heard of these pick me girls. These are women who obsessively want male approval by basically being competition to other women. I don't understand it. We're gonna talk about it. Talk to a woman who was a former pick me girl and what rehabilitated her. We're gonna talk about friendships when you have different races, different faiths. We're gonna start off though with two superstars. I'm the new Alice Taylor and Samar Lathan, whose new Hulu movie, The Supremes at All is All You Can Eat. I was glued to it last night. It's based on the best-selling novel about female friendship. Take a look. Fate might have put me on a one-way street, but I was destined to walk that street well loved with my girl Clarice and our best friend Barbara Jean. Look at the three of y'all walking in here, all pretty and shiny. Remind me of the Supreme. Huh? Welcome, <laughs> girls. All you can eat. We still look as good as we did back in the day. That's right. <laughs> Come on. I heard the news today. The world's a crazy place, y'all. Without each other, maybe we would have believed what the world told us about ourselves. Broken pieces, hot messes, bad omens. Don't you ever think you don't deserve better, ever. So you take my hand. But love was our glue. My feelings, Dan Fan, please welcome Emmy nominated actress Sanaa Lathan and Oscar nominated yeah. actress last night, I was crying, laugh, all of the emotions you want from a good movie. Congratulations on this one. Thank you. Oh, I love it, I love it. Thank you. Um, this is our second time seeing each other this summer. Yeah. We'll tell you about that on Instagram. We'll talk about it. Beautiful <laughs> occasion. Uh, but this film is so special. It, it traces decades long friendship from really birth, which the first scene was stunning, mm -hmm. to all of the challenges. Your character, Odette, um, reminds me of every friend who takes on everyone else's challenges mm. and what comes with being that friend. What struck you about her? Yeah, you know, we all have these rocks in our lives. Hello, everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me not pretend it's an audience of people. <laughs> right. right. Um, I was waiting for you to say, <laughs> I can see you taking the breath, like, yeah. we gonna just jump into the movie. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, we all have these friends in our lives who are our rocks, yeah. right? 
we turn yeah. to them, they hold us, they hold us up, yeah. sometimes physically, sometimes emotionally, sometimes all, all of the above. And I think that's what Odette is. Yeah. She is that anchor, that rock for her, for her friends. And here's the thing, she is not necessarily a rock for herself yes. and is afraid to show that. That's what I love in this movie. The layers of the character. Going back to Odette, and I always believe things happen for a reason. Right before I watched the movie, I saw this um, thing on social media. It said, call your strong friend. Mm. Because we forget to call yes, the strong and friend and check mm -hmm. on that strong friend. And it taps into that. Barbara Jean, mm. you know, the friend who's going through <laughs> tragedy. Um, you know, that saying, you, friends that drink champagne should be the ones that eat ramen noodles with you. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. that's the friendship. And, and with Barbara Jean, she's had great tragedy. Yeah. And she's found herself self-medicating. That's right. Through the pain. Mm-hmm. We know, we know that, right? So yeah. <laughs> we self-medicate with food. Yeah. yeah. With, you know. Yeah. Or. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, she, she's definitely one of those people who you just are like, damn, why did she get such an unfair shake? She was born into toxicity and then just had tragedy after tragedy. And she succumbs to, you know, self-medicating self with alcohol. And it's her friends right. who are like, okay, uh-uh. We love is not, you no matter we love what. We love you enough to, be, to tell you the truth. Yeah. And that's a real friend, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I love that you said the word truth. I, I read the People Magazine article mm -hmm. where you talked about your sobriety in 2018 mm -hmm. and that you, like this character yeah. in some ways, found yourself yeah. needing to numb through alcohol. Yeah. And I thought that, first of all, I thought it was so brave, because you don't have to tell Thank us anything. You. We've loved That's you true. forever. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah. But that um, this film came at a time where it allowed you to tell your story. Absolutely, it was very cathartic for me. I come from a family, I just happen to have a family where there has, have been generations of addiction in it. And some I've seen some people succumb to it, and I've seen some people break the cycle. And I was lucky to be able to see that. You know, being a black woman in... <laughs> yeah, being a black woman in uh, in this life, you know, we're just we're so blessed with this life. I'm so blessed with my career, and yet I'm a very uh, sensitive, highly sensitive person, which works so beautifully for acting. Yeah. But then it can be tough with business, and and Hollywood is not for the faint of heart. Yeah. And so, yeah, there were periods in my life where I felt myself kind of slipping into that that self-medication, numbing, you know, just to get through. And, um, but when it got to be, you know, a, a, a thing that I was concerned about where it was affecting my health and, you know, the way I was moving, I had to, you know, take a look at myself. And actually it, were, it was a, a friend of mine who was like, you know what, this is not working anymore. So yeah. I love it. I love the parallels between real life and the movie.